<laughs> Hello everybody, this is Federico from uh, Sabatino Truffles. We are a family business since 1911. We are here in our US American uh, branch. We manufacture product here in the US beside uh, our factory in Italy and we are proud of it. Uh, um, and we are going to talk uh, today about truffles, how you can differentiate uh, uh, a good truffle product and a bad truffle product. Uh, when you have a, uh, we have three main quality of fresh truffles. We have white truffles is the king of truffles. We have two blacks, one winter, one summer. Summer go from May to September. Winter go from uh, November, end of November to uh, end of March. Uh, truffle products. Truffle products are usually made with summer truffles and some black winter truffles. And a white truffle is very, uh, is not really big market for preserved winter, uh, preserved white truffles. Uh, Marcus was talking before about uh, truffle oil, and. Uh, and you know, there is much advertising around talking about good truffle oil, back truffle oil, and uh, we, went, we need to clarify what is good, what is bad. There is in the market so much uh, bad truffle oil. What do you mean bad truffle oil? Bad truffle oil means it's uh, chemically uh, flavored. And uh, why they want to do, many companies do chemically flavored truffle oil? Because it's cheap. You know, if you extract uh, uh, flavor naturally, we, you need to use real truffles. And for each uh, pound of truffles, you really have a very small quantity of essential oil that you can use on your truffle oil. When you use an, a chemical compound, you can buy for uh, a lot less money and make a lot more money. And uh, you, as a company, I believe you need to make a choice. As a manufacturer, I want to work and pursue the way of a nice product and a natural product or not you know and i see i visit personally many buyers uh, of big company big chain supermarket and they buy it tell me oh my truffle oil is natural and i say no it's not oh no but this the the supply told me it's natural and i'll always say it's natural if you find raw natural on the label because when you find a label that don't stay natural, it's not natural because it, any supplier that uses spend thousands of dollars to make and manufacture proudly a natural product will take a product and will write on the label all natural. Why is so important? Because if you write on your label all natural, as a manufacturer, we are responsible. We put ourselves at risk of lawsuits or people get sick or something. We can write one thing for the other one. That's why when I see even, you know, big personality, big chefs say, you know, truffle oil is all chemical, all garbage. It's not true. So we need to educate our customers, our restaurants to read labels. When you don't, in the labels, you, have, you don't have this. All natural is not all natural because any supplier will write uh, on the label all natural if the product is all natural. And that is a, is a simple thing. Also, you can find an, uh, a USDA organic trademark also. A USDA organic trademark, and uh, to have the certification, you need to have a, a USDA uh, certification. You need to show them, are you, uh, are you basically extract your flavoring? Are you extract your essence? And if you do with chemical compounds, you can have that certification. Uh, and everything, all this is uh, is the same for any other product. So basically, when you have that uh, trademark, all natural, mean uh, uh, the, the 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 producer put itself at risk of uh, of lawsuits. So is at the risk of uh, of uh, customer complaints? And uh, uh, you need to read the labels. Read the labels. If it's not clear. There is a phone number, call the supplier, ask them for a certification, a certificate of analysis. And that if they don't give it to you, because it's not true. Certificate of analysis, that's a great, great point. Absolutely. What, um, so I've always told people that, you know, you can get the real deal or you can basically you're buying a perfume. Is that sort of correct? It's almost like a perfume. It's correct, 100% correct, because it's not like a perfume, it's a perfume, basically it's a, it's a flavoring, it's a smell, it's, by, it's a chemically extracted, and uh, it's, it's basically a cologne. 
A base of cologne, truffle cologne. A truffle cologne. <laughs> Put yeah. it on your food or your... <laughs> or, it obvious? I want to emphasize that, uh, you know, we find the same uh, extraction, the same an artificial flavor in many foods or the major part of the food we eat every day, from baby food to milk to everything. It's not that... Uh, is a. Uh, uh, is dangerous, or so at least, but it's not the most. It's, it's, it's not the most healthy thing to do. <laughs> you know, the direction we are going, not as a company, I think as a market, is on a more natural uh, way. And many big companies, I see, they go, uh, they getting away from artificial flavoring. They are big companies are now. The good thing with 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 truffle oil, truffle products, are you use such a small amount. So if you're paying double the price or ten dollars more. It's, your per use is going to be so minuscule Absolutely. that it's not worth it to buy something cheap. It's just not worth it to to put a, a cologne on your risotto and <laughs> spend the extra money. It's such a small use. Side. Now I blow the bottle, make sure that it's not buried in time. Ah, okay. Just waiting for the bottle to get out of the way. And now the other arm will come forward. And the oil is being fed from this, this right here? The oil is being not This is our olive oil. Basically, we have an extract. Now I show you the extract that we grab from the quality of This is our basic flavoring, basically. What you can use, like, she's a chemist and uh, came from uh, PepsiCo before, came from many, uh, many, other. many other food oh. companies. How we extract uh, the es essence from uh, of our truffle oil. So this is the natural, natural flavor, and this is done by steam distillation. And the steam distillation is done by uh, set, uh, uh, ex extraction of the truffles, and what you get left over is the oil that we extracted from the. How many pounds truffles. of truffles made that oil right there? Uh, this, this is small. It's it's hard to say because it depends on the quality of the truffle. Depends the the, the the season, the season. and all varies. So it's very hard to give you an exactly amount. What's the average for winter truffles versus summer truffles? Are we talking five, ten pounds of truffles in there? Yeah, it's a lot of truffles. So that's a the lot concentrate. Of truffles. Correct. With that concentrate, we can make a hello. Uh, uh, with that concentrate, we can make a lot, a lot of truffle oil. That was my next you question. Know. You would never use that straight. Oh, absolutely not. That would never use straight. It's like no, uh, when you eat no. the, it's like, a, what? It's a 0.5%, 0 0.5 to 2.5% the most. Okay. Depends on the oil. That's good to know. That's Depends really on the oil because if it's natural organic oil, you know, the molecules are more right. attached. So it takes longer and takes more flavor too. So basically, truffle oil always has a carrier oil, like olive oil would be the carrier oil. Yes. Absolutely. You're never going to find straight truffle oil on the market. Oh, straight, absolutely no, not. No, absolutely not. It's a carrier. Too expensive. Too expensive no, and, and not usable, too strong. It's and not too usable. Strong. Okay, good. Too yeah, that's good. Do you want to smell? I would love to smell. I don't advise to taste it. You can, because it's, uh, but it's very strong. Mm. Oh, yeah. Hey, you stop. Uh, wow. You can smell straight, eh? But usually you don't do because it's a. Uh, that's strong stuff. Mm, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. It smells great, but that's 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 potent. Yeah, it's potent. Potent yeah. stuff. Yeah. And basically, it's the same way the you extract natural vanilla, the same way you extract natural oranges, the same way you extract. Uh, Grapefruit, uh, yes. oil, essential oils, all oh. the essential oils but he's are really... done the same process. Okay, we're very, we're very familiar with essential oils because we use 
some essential oils in okay. cooking. Okay. So we lace all of our water with essential oil of lemon, all of our tap water, our table water. Uh, we'll use orange oil in a recipe, ginger oil sometimes, lemongrass oil we use a lot in a recipe. Okay. I went to uh, international uh, training with uh, essential oils for PepsiCo when I used to work at PepsiCo. Okay. And, uh, and they, they use a lot of essential oils. So I went to a lot of outside uh, South America and Italy. Okay. And, uh, participate in all the process and everything. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, one what drop of lemongrass oil will season a gallon of sauce. Absolutely. That's yeah. all we need. One drop. Same thing here. Okay, same, same thing. thing. Same thing. Exactly the same thing. The only difference is uh, that to make this, sometimes we spend uh, thousands, no sometimes, we spend thousands of dollars. Oh, thousands of dollars. Uh, yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? For uh, this. It's very expensive. Very you know, expensive. Yeah. 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 Great, right. thank you. From here we go to basically after the machine came here, just make sure that every bottle has the same identity on the mail. We take it back to the city. You take it back. Uh, very cool. That goes back into the system. Now we move forward. The last bottle is out of the way. Now we move here. And now we move forward. From here we go to the copper. The copper take the, the little cup on top and seal it. On the other side, maybe you can see better, but we open the uh, shrink band. Okay. This piece of machine put the shrink band on top. And then it heats it quickly, or? It, and there is another piece over there that heats it. These put the label, one on the front, one on the back, but I think from the other side you can see it. You can see it. Look how good it is. After they they repack because they need to put inside that one. That's in the box. It's so. another pro. <laughs> if it's a straight bottle, go straight to the carton. If not, we need to have more people. Do it by hands. And that's what she does. Wow. She inspects every label? Me, every label, make sure she put the label in front of the, ah, of the in label. Ah, front, so. Because when the customer open, you don't want to find this. You don't want to find that, exactly. You want to find uh, the label. Perfect, make wow. Make sure we have also the lot number and expiration date. To trace where the oil came from, where the truffle came from, when we manufacture, when expires. 